Hi there! Today I'm going to show how you can create global and local variables in JavaScript and also try to explain why you should try to avoid creating global variables in your code. Of course I'm not saying that you can't use it, I'm only saying that if you can find another solution that will use local variables, then you should go for it. But we know that sometimes using global is the only way to do it. So just try to use wisely, that's the best advice I can give you. I know that a lot of developers think it's really convenient to create global variables because it's there, you can always access. But the problem is they are created in the moment your code is loaded and it doesn't matter whether you use it or not, it will stay in the memory until your page is closed. In other words, you're wasting a resource that could have been used for other things. On the other hand, local variables are created when the scope they belong is invoked and assigned to be destroyed by the garbage collector right after its execution. As your application grows and becomes more complex, you have to consider all these small details. So let me create an example and you understand what I'm talking about, okay? Let's create a new website, give the name global and local variables in JavaScript. Let's also set, set up startup project and create a JavaScript file with the same name. In the ASPX page, I just need to add a snippet that will add a title and the reference for the JavaScript file here, right? Okay, that's it, all we need to do. And before I start coding, I just want to show you something. If you really want to understand like JavaScript really deeply and re it's really good, I strongly advise, uh, advise you to take a look at this PDF, it's really good. It's 188 pages, it's in English, but has a lot of good information there. I strongly advise. Let's create variables in JavaScript. So, we have two ways to create variables in JavaScript. The first one, and the one that I advise you to do it, is you have to type var, and then the name of the variable you want to create, and then if you also need, you can assign the value in the same line. The other way you can do it is you just type the name of the variable and then the, you can uh, give the value, right? So these both var variables, they are global. All the methods in your application can access. So I'm just going to create now a global method and then I will show you how you can access it, right? So here we're going to call this method and this method will just print the values of these two variables. But as I said, it's global, you can, all, you can do more than only access, you can even change the value here inside your methods, right? So the first alert will print the name of the application and the version will change the version and will print again, okay? So let's just run the application and so my co application 1, I changed the value, my co application 2 really good. Okay, let's comment this and go for the next one. Okay, so now local variables, how you can declare. Basically it's the same idea. So if you write var, then the name of the variable and then the give value, this variable will be local, right? But if you do this, this you do this and it doesn't write var, this variable will be global. So all the methods in your application will be uh, able to use that variable. So if you want to use a create a local one, you have to put var inside your method, right? This is really important. But here you will see there's a different now. We we created a local variable called version, but we already have a, a global variable called version. So how uh, is the browser know which one we are talking? We are we want to use it. So, when you create a local vari variable and you try to call it like this, using the same name, the browser will know you try to call the local one. If you want to call the global one that has the same name, you have to use the window object, because all the global variables, they are shared throughout the application by the window object. So, if you have this situation that you have two variables with the same name, 
you can call even though you already have a local here local variable with the name you can you even you can you can call the the global one you just need to call use window and no problem so now if we execute you see that the tree is the local one and then is the global one no problem it's it will not give any errors in your code or whatever you just need to make sure be careful uh, by the names you choose to your application to your variables okay so now is here is where I try to explain why you should try to avoid creating global variables you see here so I created two variables like app name and version that you probably will use once or twice right but these two variables they will be using resource until you close your page right so my suggestion is why don't you use methods right if you need to get the name of your application or the version you just call method and that method can search for a give the value from a file from using you can use ajax you can do just hard code like this but i really think is the best thing the f best way to do it it's using methods right every time you need to retrieve information get use a method that your code will be much more organized and you will not have all these global variables all over the place right it's much better using that way so if you new run the code now you see we will get the same result but without using global variables you see here alert get IPP name it got this value get version it got this value the same uh, thing we did for the first one but using global variables right so this is how we can create global variables local variables and why we should try to avoid using global variables okay thank you very much hope to talk to you guys soon